There's something amazing that I just learned about Vim. Sorry. So, on this line, there's a bunch of commas. And say I want to get to somewhere like here or here, how would I go about going there? Well, using W to jump forwards is just plain inefficient. Big W doesn't work. Uh, I could jump to that, uh, but this only works because pretty much all of the characters here are different. But say there are many repeating characters. A thing that I find myself doing often is F comma, for example, and then doing this, which is why I created a remap to go to the last character. So for me, leader F and then comma goes me to the final character in, on the line. And then I can repeat that, but in the opposite side. Before I forget, let me show that off. Uh, here they are. So leader F goes to the end of the line and then backwards F. Same thing for the backwards F that goes to the start of the line. Once again, that's not what I actually wanted to show off. I wanted to show off a really good solution to this problem of mine. Turns out, GM, something that you see on the bottom of my screen. What does it do? Let's try it. G capital M. It goes to the middle of the line. And that's fucking huge. While movement in Vim is very nice. There are many different ways to get to a certain place. So, even still, they're quite limited in what I showed you just now, having to F and then do that. And while you could also search for something like uh, this and then get there, I don't really like searching. However, I do understand it's a good thing to actively use. But with having GM, I can just go to the middle of the line and then I don't have to try as hard in my F searches or in my W goers or whatever else. I can just go to the middle of the line. Okay, that doesn't seem too, like, useful. I'm doing this YouTuber thing where I try to argue against my own argument. Usually that works, this one doesn't because this is amazing by itself so that kind of thing doesn't even work essentially what i'm getting at you can provide a number to get to a certain percent of the line so you specify 10 and then g capital m you go to the 10 percent of the line now i do realize that this can be too much mental overhead however it's still quite useful Maybe you get used to putting 10 and all that. Let's actually see if uh, 1 works. What does it do? Okay, to 1% of the line. And 99 GM uh, to almost. So essentially, uh, uh, the character before and the final character. I guess if the, if the line was longer, it would be somewhere here. But essentially, you get the gist. If you use GM by itself, middle of the line, if with a number, uh, you go to that percent of the line. Holy shit. How did I learn about this? I was just doing some remaps and G capital M seemed like a good uh, thing for me to use. And this is a good lesson as to why before remapping something to something else, you should first do uh, colon H and that exact hotkey. I say hotkey, it's more like a command. So I wanted to map to G capital M. I'm like, hmm, what is that? Like G zero, but to halfway the text of the line. What? To percentage of the line. And I tried it out and I was amazed. Matter of fact, let's check out uh, what does G0 actually do? Mm -hmm. The first character of the screen line. Oh, essentially, uh, let me try to show that. Off. 
ignore that. I was just goofing around. Uh, first of all, I want to find a line that actually wraps. Well, this can work. So here I am here. If I use zero, I go to the actual end of the line because now it's a single line. But if I do G zero, I end up here. You might or might not have known this, but okay, fair enough. So just by doing my normal Vim thing, remapping every single button, I learned something new. So this is a lesson to you as well. When you remap any of your stuff, keep in mind to actually check what the initial command does, because maybe it's going to be as useful as G capital M. And I sure as hell am going to use it quite a lot. Uh, well, not it exactly. I'll remap that into capital X because capital X is pretty useless as I remember. Yeah, essentially capital X is X but to the left and uh, it never made sense to me that so I do DB to delete a word it's so strange to me that Z is still there. So I don't ever use that, so I don't need capital X uh, personally. Maybe you do. Nevertheless, if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> I've watched a lot of Vim, Vim talks and I've never heard about G capital M. So if you did, leave a like, definitely subscribe, Leave a comment saying, holy shit, I didn't know about G capital M. Uh, and most importantly, have a good day.